you thrilled by first class entertainment? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Do you enjoy great comedy and laughter? Yeah! Do you love beautiful singing and dancing? Yeah! Well then, you better get tickets to Wizard of Oz! you practice your applause. One, two, three. <laughs> now when you hear our old jokes, you're going to want to boo. So on the count of three, let's hear your loud
came out of the driveway. Yes. Then we felt that awful bump. Yes. Then we ran over something. Yes. Well, that was father. <laughs> well, I got an oyster in the exhaust yesterday. An oyster? How come? I've been using shell gasoline. Ooh. Oh, and now the one is broken. No, it's not broken. It's just different. Okay, what do you mean? Fine. It just doesn't get a hoot. <laughs> well then, I have to say you're quite the magician. Really? Why, just the other day you turned my Buick into a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> You talk to me to a telephone pole. You know, seriously, I'm a much better friend than you are. Really? You think you're better than me? I'm superior, you're inferior. I'm the big attraction, you're the small. I'm the major one, you're the minor one. I can be the ship. Orphan 
to Bundle of Energy, Miss Julia McLean. Ding, 
everything about love, but I can teach them a thing or two. Why, let me tell you. Why, let me tell you. Okay. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Matt. Aren't you going to help me out of you? I'm sorry, I thought we cut this number. Oh.
between you and a horse. A horse wears shoes. But I wear shoes. Oh, then there's no difference. Oh. oh. <laughs> what would you do if you were in my shoes? I'd get them shined. You know, Agnes, if you could see yourself as others see you, you'd never speak to yourself. <laughs> Now, let's hear a fantastic number from our wonderful pianist, Matt. Thank you. 